think one thing you can do is to replace your old thermostat this one is solid state manual heat and AC thermostat that I have for with the house for like over 20 years I guess I mean it worked okay but again it's not programmable so you have to manually you know if it's it's get really cold come down early morning and you know set it to 70 degrees or whatever so not very convenient so yesterday I replaced this one with sorry about the panning quickly this Lux 9600 TX model is a touch screen I got this from Lowe's yesterday after you know comparing this with the Honeywell's because the Honeywell is well, well known uh, but uh, with with the touch screen feature seven, seven day programmable and I'll, I also check reviews on Amazon and got great reviews on this guy here and, and it's only 59 bucks right now so I think that's a great deal and you know it's fairly easy to install when you're removing the, the old uh, thermostat make sure before you do that um, you know when you expose the wires make sure you label the wires first you know and this this uh, package comes with sticky labels so you you have something like red yellow white brown and green like five wires now this one you this unit is also used to triple a batteries so there's no need for you know a transformer or other power source so that there's a wire called TC Tomcat you know for some of you that might be helpful you don't need TC wire so basically I just tape them off tape it up <clears throat> because that's basically for transformer source and uh, we don't need it. it it has batteries on batteries so everything else pretty much you know go directly to to from the old wires to the new new wires based on the uh, the color basically and and it worked great it have fan uh, heat cool right now I set the switch on heat in the back here so in summer you will set it to cold you can move it back to cold here okay right there and the fan I set to auto for the time being here right here you can see the switch in the back set it on heat here and I already programmed basically I uh, early morning I set it to uh, uh, 70 and then uh, like 7 o'clock that's when we leave the house in the morning we set it back to like 62 and then when we come back like 5 we set it to 70 and then before we go to bed like 10 or 9 30 uh, we set it back to 62 so and basically I set it for Monday and then there's a button to to copy so I basically copy the same setting to the rest of the the week Tuesday Wednesday Thursday blah 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 just copy the same program and of course when the next year when the summer comes you would want to to set this back to well not back uh, to set it down to cold to cold and then you will set your your temperatures you know again settings for, for summer and it's really convenient so I don't have to come down early morning to, you know in winter to turn it on and also it save save energy because you you turn it off basically or you know you set it to certain temperature so it won't come on when you're not here so uh, that's gonna save you a lot of time and money and this this gonna last for a long time you know I'm pretty sure and it's it's quite easy you just push menu and kind of follow through scroll uh, you know they have a set review heat programmable and you can basically click OK and then you can do on kind of setting you know based on they had a week or all of the week, all of the days, exit out and and they have a set time and date, review, set review heat programs, set review filter usage. Now this one is set to, I reset it to zero. Actually I have a sort of a 
washable uh, filter. The elect um, uh, is a metal kind of a filter. Review heat usage, energy usage. Set review swing value. I just basically take the default or the original factory setting here for here. This guy. Set key padlock if you want to. It, it's kind of cumbersome because you have to. The way that it works is you have to. Uh, it's not very really easy to put in the code. You have to like uh, use you know for each digit you have to use the uh, the up and down arrow. So I don't put the code in there, but you can. Uh, let's go to next. Set heat. Sorry about the focus. Temperature stop. I just take the default there. Temperature set back. I think right now it's set to 4 minutes, 4 hours, sorry. Go back out here. So anyway, there are 6, 7 different things you can set. Okay, so anyway. Fairly easy to use, so I think it's a great time to replace your old thermostat with the programmable one. If you is like manual one, is you know it doesn't work very well at all, and you know you, you want to make it as easy and as passive as possible, and then save energy. Let the computer do do all the work for you. You know you don't have to come down and set the temperature in the morning. Every day it takes up a lot of time. And it's fairly inexpensive nowadays to, to get, you know. And this one have a lot of uh, re good reviews on Amazon. So that's why I, I bought them. I talked to the lady at the uh, Lowe's worker there. And she, you know, she said she never got, they never have a return, a lot of return, you know, from customers. So it means that people keep them, you know. So anyway, hope it helps. Have a great winter and replace your old thermostat, okay? Bye.